this or not. Know this self. Stay true to self. Shorty, I can use some help. And you know what to do to help. Going in circles, trying not to lose myself. Hi Scorpio, this is your August tarot reading. What's my next move? What should I do next? This eclipse is kind of bringing up fears for everyone, like what should we do? It's a big event, it's astrological, it's this, it's going to affect us how? Well, I'm not doing how it affects us, but I'm doing what our next move should be after it, yeah? So in a way, it's kind of like the counterproduction, let's say. So this is... Um, yeah, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and yeah, so we go on. So your first card is triumphant success. So this is like major success after, after a lot of adversity, after a lot of pressures. This is you like trying to rise through, he's rising through the dirt, trying to, 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 um, get to the light, so to speak. But what this card warns you of this month, um, Scorpio, is that this edge is double, this sword is double edged, yeah? Do you want the light side or the dark side this month? Because it's saying that you have the opportunity to choose, yeah? You decide which side of that blade you show people, yeah? And which side of that blade, um, you you want to step forward with let's say with your decisions so next to that we've got fulfillment of wishes so this is the nine of cups this is the the wish card basically this is saying to you to um to just enjoy what you're what enjoy what you're going through enjoy the good moments and be grateful for the good times because next to that you've got suffering and silence and this is like the nine of swords this is mental anxiety this is staying up at late at night this is worrying for no reason and it's like you've got this balance this month Scorpio and you have to kind of choose which side am I on yeah which side because you, you need to decide where you're going to put your brain because the ace is also about your mental clarity. This is also a mental sort, a mental card, but it's about clarity and, and knowing which side you want to use and knowing why you're doing it and when you're doing it. And are you doing it for the right reasons or are you doing it just because you're 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 worrying you're going through this double edge yeah so it's just telling you to kind of d make a choice just decide which way you're going to go with this and then go with it and fully embrace that and if you make the right choice you can end up with the wish card and all your dreams fulfilled this also talks to about forgiveness and about forgiving other people and then that allowing us to to move past things to move beyond things and to move into that whereas if we don't forgive it's us carrying around this nine of swords this this suffering in silence you don't want to carry that around so it's about forgiveness and letting go of a few things mentally this month for you scorpio Underneath that, we've got separation. So this is saying time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to mean that everybody's splitting up and, and breaking up because that's not how it works. It could mean for some that their partner's going away to work. It could mean that they're going on holiday. It could mean that they've moved a little bit further away than they lived before. It could mean that they're having to do something where the pair of them, you could be going off to work. You could be the one that has to um, do something. You could be worried about um, this separation. Obviously, for some people, there is going to be a separation. There will be, it could come with this clarity, yeah? It could come with that clarity or this cl this card could be a warning to say that if you use the negative side of this card, of this sword or blade on loved ones, there could be some separation involved, some permanent separation. But then again, under the nine of cups, we've got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So I, th I feel like you very much at a crossroads this month, Scorpio. Make a choice. Yeah. 
as well next to that you've got engagement so this is your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment this could be moving in with each other this could be um, getting engaged this could be deciding to um, get married but it's moving up in in the stages and I feel like if there is separation for some it's temporary and you come back and you kind of realize what you love about each other and then that moves you guys forward um underneath that you've got the six of rods and this is about victory and success it's about acclaim it's about standing standing up for your beliefs and being a winner basically but it also comes with a warning not to not to brag scorpio um stay humble because this card warns about um bragging could lead to your downfall um so yeah no bragging this month scorpio next to that we've got the ace of cups so this is about this is saying that there's opportunities for you to de deepen relationships with those around you this could be with a child this could be with a partner this could be with friends family this is saying that you're you're as leave yourself open to this leave yourself open to a deepening or a strengthening of bonds or even more access to your spiritual mind to your um to spirit to the universe to synchronicities to signs to dreams next to that we've got the six of cups and this is about the past nostalgia looking back but it warns you not to get too caught up in looking back so that it stops you going forward because as she's standing there there's all these blooms growing around her um cups and she's kind of causing herself to become a little stagnant or he is so don't allow yourself to be too caught up in past nostalgia this month scorpio let it go yeah next to that you've got the two of pentacles this is your advice for the month as well is saying that there's an option or two options that you could take, um, but you might not be taking either of them. You could just be juggling them a little bit and seeing where it lands, so to speak. But it's asking you to make a choice, especially if it's hurting anybody else or if it's anybody else involved within your decision. It's asking you to make a clear choice. If there's no one else involved in your decision, it's asking you to kind of weigh up the pros and cons and then make a decision. Then we've got the ace of wands another ace so this is saying that um things that things that are coming in now for you are things that you can nurture just like a baby there's things that are, are coming in from the universe that are allowing you to be more nurturing this month more more mothering scorpio more loving it's asking you to um to nurture whatever comes in this month and to kind of show that that show that the loving fiery side of you but yeah don't show this don't show this don't show this darker side of you this month unless you're choosing to step on that path thank you for watching i hope this has helped take care please subscribe